In this video, we will be adding a currency to the game so that we can start buying our towers or paying for our towers at least. So to do this, we will have to add some UI elements so that we can actually see how much currency we have. And to do so, <coughs> sorry, to do so, we will have to right click on the canvas and click UI and select text. And this will add a new text to our um, scene here. So this text will need to be placed in some corner. I am going to place my text in the top left corner here. Um, I don't know if you want it in, in somewhere else, but at least I'm going to place it up here. You can actually put it wherever you want to. Okay, so let's take the text here. If you select the scene and select the text over here, and then you can simply drag it to the top left corner. And to make sure that it's aligned, just to make it like, let it snap to, to these edges here as you do like this. Okay. So this is the text so far. We will need to change some things over here. First of all, we will need to use another font. Just click on font and we will have to add another font here. So the font that I'm using is available from the description description below. So you can just go through that link and download it. Um, and I haven't added here. So give me one second. I'll add it to this project. So I have added a folder called fonts. And in that folder, we have a um, a font called Carter one. So let's try one more time, select the text and select the font up here. And then select Carter one. And you simply just have to add your text to um, the, the font to your folder here, and then you should be able to pick it somewhere. So that is the uh, text that I'm going with throughout this whole project here. So let's see, we need to set this up. So give me one second and then I can see what I'm using. Okay, first of all, the font style I'm using is bold to make a little thicker. And then I'm selecting rich text. So the reason that we need rich text is because we need to make change some colors up here on the text. And you'll see that in a minute how it works. Um, yeah, what else? Alignment, left side and top here. It's totally fine. And we need to warp and Okay, it's fine. And then we have the color here. So the color that I've set is white because I want my text to be white in the game. You can, of course, pick any color that you want. And yeah, that's basically it. So basically, I have written. Um, yeah, okay, we also need to change the size of the text, of course. So the font size here, I will be putting it as, what am I putting it as? Uh, 30. Let's see. So now it's 30. So if you can't see the text now, it's because it's too large for um, for the actual area here. So you can just take and enlarge that area so that you can actually see the font up here. You can see 30 looks pretty okay for this resolution. So the text up here is quite, quite big. So you can see I'm going to write zero and then make a dollar sign after it like this. So this is how the text is going to look. But I would like to change the color on the dollar uh, sign here. And to do so, we will need to have the rich text enabled here. Let's try to disable the rich text, then you'll see what, uh, what, 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 how it will work. Sorry. So first of all, we need to make a tag and write color, and then set equal lime. And then we need to end the tag. Go to the other side here, and write start tag, um, four slash color, and end it. And now you see over here in the text, it's written color equals lime dollar sign color uh, in tag color. And that's because it's not rich text. If it rich, if it is rich text, it's so hard for me to say apparently, um, then it actually takes this color here and applies it to the actual um, text inside the, the brackets here inside the text. So we can just like rich, rich text. And then you'll see <clears throat> it just removed all these from the text over here and it just showed the dollar sign in lime. Maybe you don't want lime. Maybe you want another color. You can always put that, and you can use um, um, yeah, you can use any color you want in here actually. So yeah, you can go to uh, Unity's website and see the different colors or how you can do it with without uh, writing lime and stuff. So if you look at the description or click the link on the screen here, you will be taken to the place where you can see on Unity's website how to use this. Anyway, this is how we are going to write it, but. We need to write a script that will actually use this text here or set this text equal to a currency that we will use to place our towers. So to do so, we will have to open the scripts and go to our game manager. 
because right now we have a currency but we're not using it for anything so that's not um, that ideal so inside the game manager let's go to the top here and let's just write a new private integer yeah, I guess we want an integer called currency so this is the currency that we will be using to purchase our towers right so every time we purchase a tower we'll check if we have enough currency you can also call this gold or coins or whatever you want to I'm just going to call it currency okay so we can do lots of things we can just go to our start here and say well our currency is five right so now we have five currency every time we start but when we start the game there's no way of telling we have five currency because if we run it then you'll see that it's still zero up here because that currency is not connected to the text here so what will we have to do to um, make this currency update according to the currency we have in our script here well we can actually create a um, a property for our currency but before we do so we need a reference to the actual text out here right because right now we have the text here but the game manager has no idea about what this text is so we need a reference to this text so that game manager can go in and change this value here so we can simply just let's just rename this to currency text so this is our currency text and the game manager needs to know about this so let, to let the game manager know about this, we can make private text. Um, and if you don't have the text, just right click, quick actions, using UnityEngine.ui, so it writes it up here. And <clears throat> if you don't have uh, that quick action, just go up here and write using UnityEngine.ui. Text, and let's write currency. Let's just write TXT, that's short. So that's our currency text. To make it visible in the editor, just write um, serialize field so that we can see it out there and then save. Okay, so now we have our uh, currency text. We need to go back here and then go to our game manager. As you can see, there's a currency text now. Take the currency text and drag it onto here so we have a reference to it. Let's just rename this to the same txt so that it has the same name convention. And now that we have that, we can go back to Unity, or oh, not back to Unity, back to a script here, and we can make a property that actually updates this currency text. Because to make it easier for ourselves, we can actually make the property. And this is what I do often when I have a simple thing I need to change and I need to update something else. Instead of writing a whole function for that, I simply just make a property so that every time we set the currency, it automatically updates the, the whatever text or something else. We can write public. Or actually, let's 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 take some help. We can right-click on currency, quick actions, and there is this one encapsulate field, and click here. Then it makes the property for you. If you don't have Visual Studio and you can't do this, just uh, pause the video and write this code here that I have just highlighted. Right? Just write this code exactly like this by yourself. So I expect you to pause the video and do that. Okay. I'm going to place it down here. So now we have our currency property, and this is a property in C Sharp. And we're using properties to access stuff from other scripts, but we can also use it um, to set something else because properties gives us the ability to add some functionality. So when we run a property, if I say something like this, when I set this, <clears throat> when I said, sorry about that, if I say currency equals five, hmm, it runs this currency up here with a capital C. Notice that the normal value or the normal variable here is called currency with non-capital C and the other one is called currency, currency with capital C. Okay, so when I say currency with capital C equals 5, it runs this code here instead of this one up here. So it sets it because I want to set it equal to something, so it runs this code here. Value here is equal to whatever I put it equal to, so value in our case is 5. So it says currency equals five. So it actually set this this one currency we have up here equal to what we set down here. So it actually sets the normal variable. Okay. So what's smart about that? Well, we can say um, when we do that, we can say this dot currency text dot text equals value to string plus color um, equals lime 
and then that dollar sign if I could see my keyboard there it was not euros but dollars and then color and there we go so now it says every time we set our currency through the property that is it says the currency text that we have in unity um, out here the currency text here needs to be set equal to the value we are setting it to plus um, the dollar sign with green after it so we can save this and if we run the game again now you'll see that it says five dollars now just because I somewhere in the code um, did currency equals five remember every time you set your currency you have to use it with the capital C you shouldn't use this one with non capital because it then it doesn't work you have to use capital to use this function here or this property so a few polishes before we end this video select the text as you can see <clears throat> it is a little hard to see the currency up here if I run maximized here it's hard to see it so let's simply just click on the currency text add component and let's select um, maybe you can't see this from my face actually but it's add component and then you search for outline and then an outline pops up so we have it up here outline and then it actually has as you can see already some lines around it, so it's easier to see it because it has an outline now besides that I would also like to add some shadows so click add component right shadow boom then it adds some shadow to it and I think I'd, I'm not going to do anything else with it yeah then it has a little shadow around it so it looks a little better as you can see I don't know the outline maybe we can change the outline so it has like a higher alpha let's try to run it now now it's more um, yeah the alpha is high you can just play around with the colors of the outline and everything and the shadow if you want to up here I'm just going to leave it with full 255 alpha here <clears throat> okay besides that we need to make sure that it has the same position no matter what resolution you're playing in so you click on your currency text you click on the rect transform here and select top left corner so that the anchor points for this currency text is the top left corners here so it will always stay up there so right now you can see you can gain a lot of money let's say we have 4,000 40,000 and so on and at some point it goes out of range here it goes out so we can't see the dollar sign just to make sure it doesn't happen well you can see the vertical flow here is overflow and then it goes on the other side here um, actually not the vertical sorry the horizontal you can make an overflow there and then it goes over the borders of um, the actual box it is in you just put it as overflow but I doubt that you're going to have this much money it's just um, yeah for security measures or what should I say just to make sure that nothing bad happens okay so that is how we can create the currency because now we can actually set our currency anywhere in our game we could go to our buy tower functionality and set our currency to 100 or 10 or something as you can see we can simply just say we start with 10 instead and if I save this then everything should be working inside unity I run the game and it switches it up to 10 instead so now we have connected this um, actually I'm going to go back and set it to 5 because that's how I kind of balanced the game so that is it for this video in the next video we will apply this to our tower so we can use the currency to buy something so thank you very much for watching and uh, remember that Inscope Studios is a community found page so if you share my videos it will be very very awesome because that's uh, that helps me a lot to get some more views and i really think i need some more views on this channel um, also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like my facebook page and follow me on twitter if you haven't done it already uh, what else what else also uh, remember that you can support me in different ways you can support me by getting this project um, as a standalone product by clicking the bottom link or you can click the patreon link to get any of my project that i've ever created and also get some early video releases and such so thank you very much for watching